realagriculture.com canola school is brought to you by Syngenta Crop Protection Canada. Okay, Troy, we came to this field and right away there's something that uh, caught both of our eyes. What, what have we found? Uh, well, when you when you first walk into the field and you're looking at the, um, the actual plants, so you can see at the top of some of these that, uh, that they're starting to turn white. And, and what we're getting is we're getting an actual bud blasting. And uh, if you look there, at the top of these uh, flowers, you can kind of see a little bit of feeding on there. And, uh, and what is happening is, is it's a sure sign of, um, of a lagus bug uh, or, or some type of feeding going on in there. Um, so this would be a, a really good indicator for, uh, for me to get my sweep net out and, uh, and get out there and take a look into this field. So this field is, uh, what, what flower percentage would you say this field's in? Well, I would say we'd be at 30% flower stage here, um, getting a little bit later into flowering. Um, we've maybe passed the cabbage seed pod weevil uh, window, but the numbers in this field particularly are, are really low. Um, but now is when we start really watching for our uh, diamondback moth larvae and uh, as well as our uh, lagus bug we'll start seeing in the later instars. So is this a typical time of the year or typical point in the crop cycle where we would start to find lagus damage? Uh, yeah, you'll find lagus damage all the way from uh, bolting all the way to uh, pod uh, ripening and that's when they're going to be doing typically their, their most damage is later on. Um, but uh, you know this is where we'll, where we'll start to see them in their later instars and uh, the third, fourth and fifth instars and that's where they start to get that little black V on their back and that's where we'll notice them uh, do a lot more damage to our crop.